Mm-mm-mm. Check out this easy homemade chili. Now, this is a McCormick's chili recipe that happens to be a mild chili recipe. Now, you don't have to write everything down for this McCormick's chili recipe because we will include the complete ingredients list and the recipe on your screen before the video ends. Next, we're going to add some red and yellow sweet bell pepper. The combination of the two colors kind of brighten up the chili a little bit to make it more interesting for the kids. Then we're going to add an entire can of stewed tomatoes. A good way to cut them up is to put them in a bowl and use your kitchen shears. Next up for our easy homemade chili is two cans of kidney beans. We're going to add some dark red and light red kidney beans, and there's no need to drain them. Just dump the entire can right in the pan. Now we're trying to keep this recipe as simple as possible, so we're going to use the McCormick's Chili Recipe. You can find these packets at your local grocery store. Next, we're going to add a jar of chili sauce. You don't have to use Heinz, you can use the store brand if you want. You'll find chili sauce in your grocery store where you find the ketchup. Keep in mind that we're trying to make some easy homemade chili. We don't want to make it too complicated. Make sure that you take the jar over to the sink, fill it up with water, and give it a good shaking to get all of that extra chili sauce out of there. All that's left to do now is stir everything up and let it simmer. Our easy homemade chili needs to simmer for about 20 minutes. Okay, our chili has been simmering for about 15 or 20 minutes. Well, let's have a look. Mm -mm -mm. Oh yeah, that looks delicious. Smells good too. So let's have a taste. got lots of color in it because of the yellow and red peppers which makes it nice. I want to add a little bit of cheese. This is a four blend Mexican cheese. That's what I recommend, a four blend cheese to put on top. Oh yeah. And don't forget a little bit of sour cream. That's good. It's got just enough flavor, chili flavor. It's not spicy. It's not too sweet. It's perfect. Mm -mm -mm. Now, I mentioned to you in the beginning that I was going to share with you a tip that the kids would love and the adults would love as a topping for on top of the chili. And believe it or not, goldfish. Goldfish are absolutely delicious on top of chili because they're cheddar flavored. And finally, one thing that you can do to bump up the flavor of your chili is to make it ahead of time and put it in the refrigerator or at least make it ahead of time as early as you can so it has time to sit. You know how spaghetti tastes better the next day? Well, this is exactly the same thing. It turns out if you let your chili sit overnight and then bring it out, warm it back up before you serve it to your guests, It'll be absolutely delicious. Well, there you go, folks. Easy homemade chili using the McCormick's chili recipe. 